In this tutorial you will be familiar with the basics of V-Ray Proxy and learn how to convert and adjust your complex and high detail objects to optimize the project volume and speed up the workflow. And in the end, you will see the render quality of a converted object to V-Ray Proxy. Now let's dive in! Hello everyone, I'm Said Mandegar. Hope you are well and doing great while watching this video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to convert high detail objects to proxy and how to adjust that proxy object. For those who are not aware of proxy advantages, I have to say using a proxy will lighten the volume of your object without losing the render quality, so it helps to optimize your scene and speed up your workflow. Just notice that you can change or edit the object material after converting it to V-Ray Proxy. So make sure you applied all the last changes and the object is ready for your final render. First off, I import my object which is actually a grouped object including a few different assets inside. You can also load your proxy object from create menu. I right click on the object and choose V-Ray Mesh Export. If you have a specific project folder for your current scene, you need to specify the export location. If your model has sub-object, you have to choose Export All, so whenever you want to reuse this proxy in other projects, it will appear as the way you see in your current scene. I suggest you change its name to something that reminds you what this proxy is. Otherwise, you have to open all your proxies to see which is which next time. If you enable the export all, then you don't need to specify the location here. Preview Mesh helps you to choose one object to preview this proxy in viewport. Export animation is for the objects that have the animation keys. If you're not into the animation things, skip this item. Automatically create proxies. If you enable this item, it creates objects for exported meshes which will have the correct transformation and material derived from the original objects. As soon as you press OK, the original object will be deleted. Export point clouds give you a various level of details which can be used by the proxies for saving memories when rendering distance objects. Enable create multi sub object material and condense multi material to keep all the materials you have on your object, otherwise it will be exported only with one material. Now you see a weird shape of the original object which you might think you did it wrong, but actually you did it correct. The V-Ray proxy downsampled the object preview to lighten the volume of your object. Now let's dig into the parameters to customize it. Under Proxy Files tab, you can load your proxy if it's not imported correctly. Notice that if you change the word of its name, it will be lost. Alembic Layers is for the animation, so I skip that for now. In the display area, you can modify the preview. Bounding box is the simplest and lightest version of a preview which performs best for heavy scenes. Preview from the edges looks weird, cause you can't identify the materials or colors, so I skip to a better choice, which is preview from the faces. It's simplified, still clear to identify the object by the diffuse map of its material. If you choose point preview, you won't be able to find it, so let's skip this too. And lastly, if you want to go back to the original preview for a second, you can choose show whole mesh, which is also customizable via proxy mesh visibility.
Here you can exclude some of the subobject in viewport or apply the opposite by changing the list type to include. As you see, it looks great. So we have learned by converting a high detail object to a V-Ray proxy, we can optimize the scene and speed up our workflow. That's it for me guys, hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please hit that like button if it was helpful and subscribe to my channel if you didn't already. And click on that bell to be notified about the next videos. See you soon. Have fun.